Are treatment considerations different for patients with relapse disease? I'd say that they're similar in a lot of ways. Mm. Uh, the first is, uh, in my mind, uh, again, is the patient that I'm seeing somebody who could potentially tolerate treatment that would be given with the goal of trying to cure their lymphoma on a second try. Uh, some patients with relapsed large B cell lymphoma can be cured with the most common standard second line approach, which is to get them back into remission with some standard chemotherapy, and then to follow that with a very intensive course of high dose chemotherapy as a one-time treatment that's given with a stem cell transplant using the patient's own preserved healthy bone marrow stem cells. Uh, that treatment's effective in about half of patients that can uh, undergo it. And you need to be pretty fit medically and in an overall physical sense to be able to get through that treatment okay and have a good um, healthy recovery afterwards. So it's not for everyone, but it is doable in a lot of patients. Uh, the other questions or considerations that I think are important uh, are if a patient is sort of on the border in terms of their overall health and their, their willingness to undergo really rigorous intensive treatment as a second try, uh, we have to look in a balanced way at what their goals are uh, as an individual and what it's gonna take for them to try to reach those goals. Right. Um, I don't easily back away from recommending to someone that I think has a shot at cure that they should go for it if they're medically uh, in reasonable shape to uh, try for that. There are some people who, after their initial course of treatment, decide that they don't want to pursue intensive treatment anymore and would rather go with a lower intensity approach that might not have the potential for cure, but that wouldn't be as demanding of them physically or mm -hmm. logistically. The logistics are another factor for some patients because most patients with large B cell lymphoma can get treated with a standard treatment approach like our CHOP as their initial treatment at some place that's easily accessible to them where they live. Right. But the advanced treatments that are used to try to cure patients with relapsed large cell lymphoma, like a stem cell transplant, or like engineered CAR T cell therapy are only offered at large hospital-based cancer centers. And for some people uh, signing up to go and uh, undergo that kind of treatment, to go through a long hospital stay, uh, to be far away from family and home for a long time like that, and then have a longer recovery afterward is something that uh, they aren't always comfortable with and really need some coaching through to figure out how well that aligns with their goals. Yeah. yeah. Most people in my experience are willing to go through what they have to, if um, we think, and if they feel like they've got a decent shot at getting cured on a second try, but that's part of the discussion that we have when we're talking about what their options are, because there are less intensive uh, approaches available. They just don't carry that same potential for cure. Mm -hmm.